Uncrewed space plane nails drop test. Scientists dropped this space plane from a helicopter over the Mojave Desert on Saturday. The privately built autonomous Dream Chaser space plane completed a free flight drop test in California on Saturday, November 11th. It can carry seven passengers and looks like a smaller version of current NASA shuttles. Dream Chaser will use Atlas rockets to fly half a dozen delivery missions to the International Space Station by 2024. The test examined the plane during the final approach and landing phase of flight. The Dream Chaser was uncrewed, meaning it was flying on auto, but despite that, it pretty much crossed the drop test. Good reader all tenders. Approach and land. PTIs. Copy approach and land. PTIs are active. End of PTIs. Copy. PTIs complete. 400 feet. Copy 400. Landing gear. Copy gear deploy. Good gear deploy. High feet. Set phasers to Tomo. Asteroid apocalypse? Nah, we'll pass. Seems the folks at NASA are worried about a giant asteroid bringing about humanity's end and have unveiled plans for what to do about it. Asteroids crash into the Earth regularly, but they're usually small enough that they burn up in the atmosphere. However, bigger space rocks could cause significant damage if they were to hit the planet. To try to prevent such a calamity, NASA has designed the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Its target will be the asteroid system Didymos, which consists of a smaller rock orbiting a much larger companion. NASA's plan is to launch a refrigerator-sized spacecraft at the smaller Didymos B when the asteroids approach Earth in October 2022. The spacecraft will be traveling at 3.7 miles per second when it hits the asteroid. The collision is meant to eventually shift the rock's orbit by changing its speed, a tactic known as the kinetic impactor technique. Scientists on Earth will then study the impact and effect of the test on Didymos B to determine if the strategy is a feasible way to save the planet from more dangerous asteroids. This is how Russia's robot spacecraft delivers supplies to the ISS. This Russian spacecraft may look like your run-of-the-mill satellite, but it actually plays a critical role in delivering supplies to the International Space Station. Russia's Progress spacecraft is loaded onto a Soyuz rocket and launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. After detaching the rocket, the spacecraft flies on an automated two-day route toward the International Space Station. Progress then docks with the ISS, where food and scientific equipment are unloaded. After the robot resupply ship has fulfilled its mission, it will be deorbited and is then expected to sink somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. The spacecraft is said to remain docked with the ISS until December this year. Private companies drive new space race at NASA. NASA says it soon may be able to launch astronauts from U.S. soil to the International Space Station. Important project milestones are coming up for NASA's two commercial crew partners, Boeing and SpaceX, with several flight tests, including manned missions slated for 2018. Boeing is working on the CST-100 Starliner. The spacecraft can seat up to seven and is meant to send astronauts to the space station. Three Starliners are currently in production, with one set to carry astronauts next year. The pressurized vessel can be reused 10 times. SpaceX, which has flown cargo missions to the ISS with its Dragon spacecraft, plans to use the Dragon 2 to send astronauts to space. The Dragon 2 is the latest version of SpaceX's capsule model. It's designed to seat seven astronauts. Boeing and SpaceX must show that both of their systems are ready to start regular flights to the space station in order to meet NASA's requirements. SpaceX has its first test flight set for February, while Boeing's launch is planned for June. NASA gets slingshot power-up in most epic game of asteroids ever. If Hollywood's taught us anything, it's to avoid asteroids at all cost. Unless you're Bruce Willis or this beastly spacecraft. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft will fly by Earth on Friday as part of its mission 
to investigate the Bennu asteroid. The spacecraft will slingshot around Earth and then use the planet's orbit to get an 8,500 mile per hour speed boost to help it on its way to Bennu. The Bennu asteroid was discovered in 1999. Its 500 meter size is taller than Taipei 101, one of the tallest buildings in the world. NASA believes investigation of it may lead to a deeper understanding of some of the universe's most fundamental questions. Or it might lead Thanos, Frieza, and Doomsday right to us. Yikes. <laughs>